Hello everybody, welcome to Roy Ryan in the Corner. That's, yes, that's the name of the show. To explain, it's called In the Corner because I'm sitting at my desk, which is situated in the corner of the living room. There you go. Just in case you're wondering. So, to explain what I'm doing, this is basically, it's, it's just a... Uh, it's just basically a little bit of fun. I've decided to start putting this show together. I'm gonna to be talking about all sorts of things, current events, things that, that I think people should be talking about that maybe people aren't talking about, some stupid things that people should be talking about but don't really need to be talking about, hopefully some jokes and laughs. It's going to hopefully develop into something quite significant. Obviously right now it's on a pretty low budget. <laughs> it's just, it's just, just this, you know, one day there's going to be a there's going to be a great big opening segment. It's going to be da da da, da in the corner, ding, you know, something whiz bang flash. I'm talking to the boys in marketing. We're we're getting onto it, but uh, for now, this is pretty much it. For those of you who don't know who I am, a little bit about me. My name is Roy Bryant. I'm an Australian actor, singer, guitarist. I can call myself that these days. Based in England, I live in a little town called Ashford, down in Kent. And I've been living in the UK now for coming up to five years. <laughs> I'm uh, pursuing the career on stage. I was born in England, but I was not raised here. I actually grew up in a little country called Vanuatu. Gone. Moved to Australia, to the Gold Coast. Goldie! Finished high school, lived on the Gold Coast for about another... F Man, my mass is terrible at the time of night. I was on the Gold Coast for about five or six years. I've aspired to be a performer pretty much since high school. I play guitar and I'm currently entertaining on cruise ships. And I think that's pretty much me. But anyway, let's get on to this. Where to start, really? That is that is the question. 2017, it's a new year. So that's a good way to start. It was a good New Year's Eve for me. I hope it was for you. And New Year's resolutions, I know, yes, the old cliche. New year, new me. My New Year's resolution this year is to start growing my online presence. And so I've made myself a target. Every week that I'm home this year, I'm going to record a performance of a song. It'll probably be here in my living room. It'll probably be very basic. At time, as it goes further, I've got a few things that I want to buy this year. You know, some mixes, a nice recording, mic, and blah, 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 blah. But for now, it's going to be very, very basic. And I'm setting myself the goal. I'm putting it on camera now, and it's out there live, so you guys can attest to it, and you guys can harass me when I don't get it done. Every Sunday, every week that I'm home, and obviously I'll let you know if I'm not home and one's not going to appear this week. But if you don't hear from me, expect it. And if it's not online, come Sunday evening. That's Sunday evening, my time. I'm in England at the moment, so don't be harassing me at my six o'clock in the morning on a Sunday morning. Going, where's your video? Where's your video? I don't see anything there. Relax, it's coming. And so then this video, I've decided I'm gonna give you a, hopefully a little bit of a sneak peek, a bit of a preview. Tell you what's maybe, tell, maybe tell you what song I'm gonna, I'm not quite sure why, I haven't quite decided yet. So you can expect this video to be somewhere around the middle of the week probably a Wednesday or a Thursday. So that's what I'm doing here. Let's get on to this. So a few things that I wanted to bring up this week, a few fun things I just uh, happened to come across. This will be the kind of thing, it'll just be like, hey, I found this this week, isn't this ridiculous? This came up the other night, so we were talking about the word bae. Oh, uh, bae, hey bae, oh, I love you bae. And how much I can't stand that word, sorry. It just doesn't sit right. Anyway, I was explaining to someone why I don't like that word. Well, at least why I think I don't like that word. And it's because it sounds like the word bray. And I knew that that was a noise that an animal makes. And I couldn't remember which one. So, went on to Google. And I chucked in animal noise bray. Believe it or not, there is a Wikipedia page. <laughs> that is a list of animal sounds. And I thought I'd share a few of them with you because some of them are a bit ridiculous. Some of them are, are, are pretty straightforward, you know, uh, badgers growl, bears roar, bees buzz, legit. This is a Wikipedia page here, but I'll put a link to it down in the in the thing so you can have a look at it. It's, it's quite ridiculous. Chickens cluck, <clears throat> females, chica or bagok. <laughs> And males crow or cockadoodle do. <laughs> That's what it says. Apparently, chimpanzees scream. There is an animal called a bittern, which I looked up, I believe, is some kind of bird. Yes, that's right, it's a bird. And they boom. <laughs> a bird that booms. Bucks bellow and does or fawns bleat. Ah, oh, now this, I'm loving this. Ferrets. They duke. 
D double O K. Ferrets Duke. There you go. And believe it or not, no, it does not say what the fox says here. <laughs> doesn't. I know, I know, I know. You and me both, mate. So hermit crabs. Hermit crabs, I didn't think they made a noise, but apparently they chirp. There you go. Uh, hyenas laugh, but linnets chuckle. <laughs> Why it's so entertaining? What the hell is a linnet? Oh, it's another bird. And they chuckle, apparently. There you go. Pigs oink or snort or squeal. Oh, depends on how close to Sunday it is. Raccoons. They trill. Now listen to this. How, how appropriate is it to this? Swans cry. Terribly depressing. And whales sing. So there you go. Have a look at that. I think that's I think that's just sensational. Just goes to show you, there's just one of everything on the bloody internet these days. One of everything. So what else? Christmas. Christmas was good fun. It's why I'm chosen to sing the song that I'm singing this week. Doing all the Christmas movies, and one of my favorite ones is the Polar Express. Love that movie. Although I think it needs what it needs is it needs a remaster because I watched the Polar Express and then I watched the uh, Christmas Carol. Disney's a Christmas Carol, you know, the one with Jim Carrey. And I thought, oh man, the graphics. You know, if they just got, if the Polar Express just got a little touch of like a remaster, oh, phew, that'd be amazing. But anyway, love that movie. I think it's a fantastic story, but I'd never taken notice of the song that Josh Groban sings at the end called Believe, and I think it's a beautiful song. So oh, that's the song I'm doing this week. Dreams are calling. Like bells in the distance. <clears throat> Me? Okay. Why not? Let's go again. Ships go sailing far across the sea. Gotta hope the backing track doesn't fade out. First time with the backing, let's see how this goes. Believe in what your heart is saying, hear the melody that's playing. I might put a little bit more work in that later. Bye! So anyway, that's coming up Sunday night, so uh, get ready for that. But I gotta say, I'm gonna tell you about the, the, the I think the, the, hit, the hit Christmas present this year for our household. Uno momento. Boom. This is crazy good fun. Now, me and my partner, we're huge fans of the game Risk. That was not me. And this is obviously, as you saw, the Walking Dead version of it. And this game is sensational. They have uh, they have a mode where you can play with just two people, which I know uh, fellow Risk gamers out there will know uh, that, you know, Risk is a great fun game, but it's a pain in the ass because you need three people to play it. I know they've now started introducing modes of play where you can just play with two people, but in this game, they've also taken uh, the Walking Dead element and included the walkers in it, the zombies in it, and it's sensational because it's so frustrating. This game pissed me off more than Monopoly does. Literally, you can be, you can be playing the game, and you can be making real headway. You can be taking this territory and this territory, and you've got this zone covered, so you're going to get that bonus at the end, and blah 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 blah. At the beginning of each turn, there is a random walker attack. And you have to draw a card to tell which territory uh, several walkers attack, and just like that, you can you can lose uh, you can lose a territory just like that. On top of that, there are random events that happen. Things like your group runs out of food, so starvation. You have to roll a die, and then every territory in a particular zone on the board loses one person. You know, so it's that kind of stuff. It's just great fun. I really, really recommend it. If you're a Risk fan, definitely you'll love it. If you're a Walking Dead fan, you'll definitely love it. The first time we played it, I, I jumped on YouTube and I, and I found a playlist of the original soundtrack for The Walking Dead. So we had that playing in the background. <laughs> and uh, 
Things got a bit tense. Got a bit tense. I'm not gonna lie to you. Definitely recommend that. And I think that's really all I've got for you this week. By all means, stick with me. I know maybe this hasn't been the most entertaining thing you've ever seen in your life, but I'm very, very confident that it's gonna get better. And if you stick with me from here, then once, you know, I do become like a raging, you know, YouTube sensation, you can say, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I saw him on like his first episode. I was, it, I was, it was me. I was there at the beginning. It was me and him. It was me and him beginning. Me and him at the beginning. I was there for him at the beginning. Me, and you can rub their nose in it, so, I mean, <laughs> I think we can safely say I sold the crap out of that. Some of these videos may come to you during the year from all corners of the globe. We take in the corner on tour, which will be great fun. All the usual bloody blahs Catch me on Twitter, at Roy Ryan Actor. You can also find me on Facebook, and uh, my website and everything will be down below, so by all means have a look. I've got a few other videos up. I've got a showreel and a promo video of my show that I perform on the ships, uh, so by all means you can have a look at that. And thank you very much for watching, it means a lot. I really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope it's been okay. And we'll see you next week when we come back and have a chat in the corner. I like it, it's, it's working, it's working. All right, bye guys.